Welcome to Muncie, Indiana, home of the Ball State Cardinals, and we're looking forward to this matchup, and certainly the fans are showing that they are as well. Today, two teams set to square off in a max slugfest. As we'll see, the Bowling Green Falcons taking on the Ball State Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Cardinals will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Falcons' offense will have the first possession of the game. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. Yeah, and he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss. He can take it to the house. Grab near the sticks. It's Johnson. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Give to the running back. Just buried. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Falcons getting set on first and 10. Receiver going for the edge on the jet sweep. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. I'll tell you, on defense, if you're one of these defensive ends, you better be aware and ready because this offense will try to hit you with jet sweeps, and you've got to be ready to start tracking that ball sideline to sideline. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Jet sweep to the edge. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It's so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going, and getting the speedster on the ground. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it and be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hatch. Absolutely perfect. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Ball State's offense will get the ball for the first time. And who says you can't find big-time tight ends anymore? Both of these teams certainly have. 
In modern college football, Reese, tight ends are becoming a bigger and bigger part of offenses, and what a treat today. We get two of the best in the nation. Yeah, going head-to-head, -head, catch for catch. Uh, I'll be interested to see which offense uses them differently and can find ways to maximize these guys' strengths because they're ballers. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Finds his tight end. Oh, there might have been trouble if they hadn't knocked him down so quickly. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big gain, but makes life really easy on me on second down. They'll run play action. Floats it out in space. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple of yards there. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And the Cardinals will send out the punt unit. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Fair catch called for and made. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Now on second and short after the first down completion. To the ground with the back. On the move at the 30. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. They're not sexy, they're not pretty, but in the end, they're effective and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, they're trying to run the football there. Just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Out of the gun. The running back has it. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. Check, 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 Trying to pick up a first down. Looking to throw, it's Bazelak. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. And the Falcons have their offense in high gear. The give to the back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about.
They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. He's looking for an open man on second down. Pocket starts to collapse. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He wants to go deep. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The Falcons line up to punt it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Ball State takes over the football in the Cardinal offense, headed out. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. This receiver is such a weapon, and he has so much speed, and he can generate explosive plays for your offense, not just running go routes and post routes, but how about throwing him the drag, letting him catch it, and use his speed to turn it upfield. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. Now adjusting. He'll pull it down and run. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out. But when things break down, they get off schedule. You've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. Fires to the wideout. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. I think it's really hard as a quarterback to know when to put touch on the ball and when to throw that thing as hard as you possibly can. And right there, I think, I don't think you need to throw it that hard. I think he could have softened that up a little bit because he had a chance to hit the guy deep for a big play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Caught in the backfield. It's Stewart. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And the Falcons have enough for the first down. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. 
And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. The play action fake. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Back to throw. It's Bazelak. He makes the grab. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. Off play action on first down. Throws to the wideout. He makes a catch. What a throw. Not a lot of room. He fits it in beautifully, and they've got it at the 30. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're, we're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. Trying play action. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons! Wait, Ken, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. One, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah, I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. From the gun, give on the inside. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. Got three on first down at second and seven. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Each brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Got to give the defense credit. Watching film, anticipating. They knew that this offense had this play in their back pocket. They knew about the speed of this wide receiver and different ways they were going to try to get him involved. Everybody on defense on the same page playing together. I love it. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Quarterbacks and receivers have got to be on the same page with respect to hot routes and sight adjustments. And those always happen when DBs come blitzing and they come running free like that. You can't put that one on the offensive line. That's on the QB and his receiver not being on the same page. The Cardinals will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed, and the returner goes down. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. 
They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Let's it fly deep downfield. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot. Right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup. But, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football. But secure that big fella and get the six. Get the pick six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. Trying to pick up a first down. They try to pop a run on the draw. Tackle is made after the first down. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great salesman. You've got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Now on second down after the incompletion. Free snap motion in the backfield. Caught behind the line. It's Stewart. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible, and sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of them. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. We're through one period, and these receivers are showing out big time. Take a look at the stats. Now to see if they can answer this early blitz here in the second quarter. The Falcons looking to convert on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Will not get there. A fourth down stop. Here comes the offense on first down. Out of the gun, the inside kick. Runs into a wall. They'll give him one out to the eight. Run game is good. Balance is good. Now listen, if the run game isn't good, then you got to pass the football a little bit more. But sometimes you got to keep them honest, take them chunk by chunk. And the Cardinals racing to the line in the hurry up. Off play action. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. the play fake on first down to throw they're working that left side really good job working through his progression you get it to him quickly and the big tight end has a chance to run a little and a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw I, I gotta hit those guys on the move on the run so they can do this they can catch the football get up field and chew up some extra yards From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. Stopped at the 41-yard line after the five-yard gain. And that's a good second down run. Commit to the running game. 
run the football. Great gain. Great job by the offensive line. Keep it rolling. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Now the play fake. Unloads to the right. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Connection to the right. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. It's so hard to get to quarterbacks when they get the ball out of their hands this fast. Great job understanding what the defense is doing, right away assessing, hitting the corner route right off the jump. The Cardinals have it with a first and 10. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Leaves it with the back. Across the 25, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. And the Cardinals moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the tight end. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. The Cardinals look to do some damage in the red zone. Looking to throw on second down. Fires to the right. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Cardinal! And these guys just score from anywhere out there? After that drive, it sure looks that way. And that's what separates really good offenses from great offenses. When you're backed up in a bad position and you can still fight your way out and go get you a touchdown, that's a great drive by the offense. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down, finding positive plays. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points, but they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. Looking at a second and short now. Dropping back, it's Bazelak. He makes the connection. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. And that's a really nice route by the wide receiver. Just understanding, I got to win right now. I got to get inside of that guy 
And I know I'm going to get contact. You went over the middle of the field on a slant, you're going to get hit. Nice job securing the catch, making the play. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. On the ground, it's Stewart. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Wide out in motion. The running back has it. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll try to get it through the air. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. Now, these slant routes you throw them quick. It's a timing route. You throw three million of them to the wide receiver, and most of the time, he gets his hands up and he catches it, keeps his body in the way, but right there, just... Lack of focus, lack of concentration, just drops the easy play. He's probably caught that ball 99% of the time it's been thrown to him. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can want. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. I love the idea, and I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a nice call. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. He wants to throw. It's complete. Speeding down the left side. Touchdown, Ball State. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of. And they've done that so far here today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they find Pater from way out, covering 69 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. On the move from inside is five. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Breaking out the jet sweep. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Now on second down. To the air. It's Basilak. Zings it complete to the right. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the bat. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. 
Motion from the offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wideout. On target to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. You know, when you're throwing those out routes, it's tough. You got to drop that thing in a bucket. You don't have a lot of space near that sideline. You got to be really accurate. Great job by the quarterback leading him towards the sideline, hitting him for a good game. Comes out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he gets it down to the four yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball in. He started off way on the right, crossed the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Bowling Green. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play, get the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. He finds his man. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. The completion short of the sticks, it's second down. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to get the first through the air. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and force the incompletion. And the Cardinals will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Let's see what they've got on second down. It's a draw. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. To the ground to try to move the chains. And perhaps a touchdown-saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. 
the defense selling out to stop it on third and super short. They don't bring him down, Jesse. Next thing you know, he's in the second level. You're absolutely right. Third and inches like that. If you just get a little crease offensively, it can be a big play. In the back that time, hit the hole and show off his speed. It's a draw. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Caught in the backfield, it's Stewart. What tremendous vision to find the crease and explode through it. He's down to the 31. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tight. A shot toward the end zone. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Who says defensive backs don't have hands? Nice job breaking on the football and making the catch. A lot of times you see guys swat it down or you see them trying to catch it. It looks like they have two left hands. Defensive backs don't catch real well. Nice job breaking on the football. Nice job securing the INT and actually catching it. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. They're trying to get to him. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Defensive linemen live to get after the quarterback, to get sacks, to get by those big hog mollies up front on the offensive line and say, you taste dirt. And after the loss on that last win, an all-important second down play from the 12. He's looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. When you've already set your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. The Cardinals will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Slips through the line. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then... And they got him for the sack. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Makes the grab. It's Garcia. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. The magic bean is spinning out of control. Already over 200 yards in the first half. Yeah, they're being aggressive offensively, throwing the football, trying to take advantage of this defense on the back end. They've got their quarterback right now in a groove. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Getting some heat. He's right on target. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. And the Falcons send out the punt unit. And 
And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Great coverage, great break of the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. Just gotta secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Dialing up a second down pass play. Time to take a shot. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He's going to pass. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that they tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. On second down, he'll let it fly. And the defense gets to the quarterback. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. And the Cardinals will call on their punt team. On the return, it's Garcia. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. The short hands, it's Hogan. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Makes the grab outside. It's Hogan. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. I'll tell you, QBs and receivers, they practice these out routes all week long. You've got to anticipate. You've got to be comfortable throwing it before he gets out of his break. And they executed it perfectly right there to pick up that first. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Nice catch along the sideline and great effort to stay in bounds. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. And that is no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. before the teams head to the locker rooms. To the air on first down. He'll take the deep shot. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, what a scene there in Muncie. What a fine performance we've seen. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's head back to the guys at Schumann Stadium. The Falcons will boot it away to start the second half. 
Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Ball State takes over the football in the Cardinal offense, headed out. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. You know, we joked that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them coming. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. They'll try to bully their way for the first. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Awesome job. Run the football, right? It's really basic. Go to those plays you know can get you first downs, get you some extra set of downs, then you can go make big plays. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. They'll leave it with him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. He finds a dead spot in the middle. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Gets open down the middle. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. These are simple routes, the drag routes that go across the field, but they actually can turn into huge plays. You see all the speed on the outside now, wide receiver. You get in his hands quick, he can go make a play, make one guy miss, and maybe next time he can make an even bigger game. Running back goes in motion. On second down, looking again to throw. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, the defense got the stop there on third and one. Let's see if they can do it again here on fourth and inches, Dave. I just got to find a way to fall forward, be physical. We work on this all week. You know you're going for it on fourth down. And the Cardinals will punt it away on fourth down. He'll try to really get into this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. Power football with the run. A little more space. Open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Well, they get another big run for a first down. And if you're on offense, you love the way your offensive line is blocking early in this game. They are getting tremendous movement. And they're making life pretty easy for these running backs right now. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Looking for a man. It's Bazelak gets it out quickly but I tell you what when you drop back and you know you got that slot work in the middle of the field and you know how fast he is you just wait for him to come open throw that strike and you know he'll take care of the rest nice throw nice catch second and short now after that completion they'll try the run and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, 
Listen, defense has got to cue in. They got to cue in to him. He's priority number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. And the Falcons are on the move. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Now they'll run the draw. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Scanning the field, it's Basilak. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down and bounds. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Looking to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's Tillman. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. The Falcons with the first and ten. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. To throw, it's Basilak. Fires to the wideout. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. If they don't pick up this third down, let's see if they trust their field goal kicker after the miss on the last drive. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. Makes the grab. It's Hogan. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. It's first and 10 from the 13. From the red zone, looking for a space. 
I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, wants to throw it. That pass is incomplete. to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he drops the throw. He's got it on the move. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. He'll boot it from the left side, and from this distance, that angle ought to be fairly easy. And he missed it. No good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Gets it back. The offense headed to the field. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He's going to pass on second down. Just too much juice on that one as he airmails his receiver out of bounds. And on that incompletion, I think the quarterback was being just a bit too careful, trying to throw that ball too far outside, obviously aware that the defenders are coming from the inside. You don't want to put it behind the intended target and risk the pick six, but he needs to be more accurate. On third down, going up top. The throw to the outside is complete. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. That looks like a real simple play by the wide receiver, but give him a ton of credit. That was an excellent route. He never telegraphed that he was breaking to the outside. Kept his eyes downfield, so when he cuts, he's able to get maximum separation from the defender, and that's why that play is successful. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. They're trying to get their receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads it left. A strike downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. The Cardinals want to crank the tempo. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. 
They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. They'll line up for a second down play. Back to the air one more time. They'll run the screen. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Looking to throw for it. He's got an open man. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And I like it. Third down and short. And this offense stays aggressive. And now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in a first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Cardinals! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Now that's the way to bail out the rest of the team. Start with bad field position, put together a drive anyway. And very confident. You can see the quarterback just had a bit of a swagger, Reese. He was like, look, all right, we're starting deep in our own end. Special teams didn't help us out, but we can fix that right now, fellas. And they went out and looked so good on that last drive. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. So a drive there of 85 yards, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Jet sweep to the receiver. And that's just a great job by the defense shutting down that jet sweep. You see the team speed they have on defense. They are willing and ready and able to go sideline to sideline with anybody in the country. Backed up just inside their own 20. It's second and nine from the 19. Gives it to the back on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to pass. It's Bazelak. Pressure coming. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. And the quarterback's in the pocket, and he decides to take off and scramble and just couldn't get to the first down marker. You could tell he wanted to pass the football. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe he scrambled a little bit too soon. But usually when you take off, you better know you're going to get close to that first down marker and get it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Ball State takes over the football, and the Cardinal offense headed out. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. You know, a great job by the defense seeing it right away, reacting to the screen, going and getting the football, and getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. 
Just another big play for this guy who spent the entire game wide open. Couple of touchdowns there, and he moves the sticks again, David. Yeah, so I'll keep finding him, Reese. I mean, this is a guy that, listen, we're in the second half now. He's already made plays. I know I can trust him, so I'm going to continue to feature him in this offense because I know he'll continue to make big plays. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. And the Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Takes a handoff. It's slow. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. He's back to throw on second down. They're setting up the screen. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab and gets the foot in bounds, and it'll be a first down. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Grabs it in the middle. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break up the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. After that incompletion on third and short, it's going to be an interesting decision for the head coach because I know he believes in his guys to go get it here on fourth down and pad the lead, but... If you kick a field goal, you make it a two-possession game here in the second half, and I think that's the right decision. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Smashes it between the uprights. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent. Nice job by the special teams going out and executing in the big moment. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Quick completion to the right. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. They got it to him out in the flat, but a short tackle and a big stop there for this defense. And those aren't easy tackles. You know, you're stretched way out wide. You're running a long way to come up and make a tackle, but great job by the defense. Seeing it, reacting, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. One big play to get it up near midfield. Now they're in business at the 47. They're going back to the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. And the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Quarterback on the keeper. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Well, they decided to get aggressive. That was just third and very manageable. Instead, they saw something, thought they could take a shot, but that's the risk-reward. You don't come up with it. Now you got fourth down. The Cardinals decide to punt it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Took a shot as he threw. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller and certainly if you're the quarterback that you're going to have time to throw. To the air. It's Bazelak. They're bringing heat. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Wants to go up top. Got it set up on the outside. Shakes off the defender. He gets it past the first down marker, and a really nice job to set up that screen and move the sticks. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen.
Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. Leaves it with the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Offense in a bunch formation. Grab behind the line. It's Tillman. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. A third and long coming up here. To the air. It's Bazelak. Fires to the right. It's in. Complete. And he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Man, what a break on the football. He read that the whole way. He just couldn't finish it. You know he saw the end zone. He saw the grass in front of him to break on that and maybe take it to the house. But just a missed opportunity. And the Falcons will bring the punt team onto the field. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Ball State takes over the football and the Cardinal offense headed out. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. And now on second down for this offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking to pass on second down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And I think if you're the head coach here, you, you've kind of got mixed reviews on your passing attack so far because, yes, you've thrown for a bunch of yards and you've thrown a couple touchdowns, but you've also given up four sacks now. Pass protection has not been great, even though they've got the lead in this game. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. It is hard to continue to get up and get up and get up like he has being sacked time after time again. But this QB, this offense, they're undeterred. They're continuing to put drives together, and most importantly, they're winning the football game. And the Cardinals will send out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll call for the fair catch here. Bowling Green has it back, and they'll send the offense onto the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. But, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. The quick out. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Man, man coverage, when they get up in your face, they make things hard. You want to be able to attack the whole field and get them leaning in one direction and then break outside like you did there. Nice out route connection. Nice chemistry between quarterback and wide receiver. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Give to the back. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. Second 
Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Fast motion from the offense. Off the play fake. And this senior quarterback knows he had a chance that time and just put a little too much on it. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Throws for the tight end. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, BG. Man, it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. Lining up to add another. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ball State gets it back. The offense headed to the field. Pulls it, fired complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Right through his hand, you just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. You know, that's a throw in the drag route where you just got to have patience. You got to let your wide receiver clear through all the bodies in the middle of the field, and they just couldn't hook up on that one. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And on that last play, he's now over 400 yards passing. Well, Reese, if you're going to throw for over 400 bills, you got to spread the praise around. Up front, they've done an outstanding job protecting this quarterback, and his receivers have been winning one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the handoff. Still on his feet at the 45. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Right back to the well. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Last play didn't go well. It leaves him with second and 11. They'll run play action. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires on the move. 
And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. No good. And in the final quarter of regulation, we remain tied. Bowling Green has it back. The Falcon offense will go to work. They've got the big fellas out there. A three tight end look on first and ten. Hand off to the single running back. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. After the three yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Hand off from the gun. Ran through the contact. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Third and inches coming, maybe the biggest play of the game. The play action fake. It's complete to the right. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43 yard line. You know, you're seeing in college football now with spread offense and tempo and air raid. We're seeing more and more 400 yard days, but I can't remember the last time I've seen one look as impressive as this guy has played today, David. He has been on fire. And it's so annoying now because all the quick quick game is so good. And then and you take shots when you get matchups. And you see tight ends now that, that move like wide receivers and running backs that move like receivers. There's so many ways that quarterbacks can hurt you now. And he showed all of it today. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Basilak. Unloads to the wideout. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down. But third down's coming up. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time the ball a little too high for his wide receiver. And it falls incomplete. They could really use a few yards here on third down. Because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. From the gun. Wants to pass. Looking left. It's caught at the 20. He's got space. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Falcons are moving quickly down the field. Leaves it with the running back. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. On the run, it's Stewart. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anyway. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And 
and it's no good. He missed it. And here in the fourth quarter, still all tied up, guys. Man, oh, man. I mean, how many times is this kicker going to cost his football team? That's now his third miss. We're in the second half, and that kick had a chance to take the lead in this game, man. He is really costing his team with these mistakes. First down here for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion, it's second and 10. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. If they're going to win this game in a two-minute situation, it's not just going to be receivers on the outside making plays. they got to use the entire field, so the tight end over the middle of the field is a great weapon at this juncture of the game. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quickly to the tight end. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Fires to the wide out. Pulls it in. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down, trying to get to him. He'll try to do it himself. Offense will use a timeout. 19 seconds left in the game. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket. Nothing's open. And he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I got to have a score. I'm not worried about downs. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We've practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. We need to go for it on fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. It's really hard to dial up big completions vertically down the field. At this juncture in the game, it's the fourth quarter, and the defense is playing with extra DBs on the field. They know you're going to throw it. Ball falls incomplete. And the Cardinals line up to punt it away. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. They're backed up. First and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football. I'm finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football that you better have worked on throughout these weeks of the season. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. And you see him consistently sticking with the run, staying balanced. Uh, as you get closer to the goal line, you're thinking the field starts to shrink now. Do I have a jump ball wide receiver out wide I can throw the football to? How am I going to find that extra space and take care of the football while doing it? 
on second down. He'll fire. Coming after him. They make the stop, but he knew exactly how much he needed and where he needed to get for that first down. It's so nice to be an offense on second down in short yardage situations. Why? I can take shots. If I want to, I can just act like I'm going to run to try to get the first down, take a deep shot down the field. I can run the football. The whole playbook is open to my disposal. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And that's a good, solid run there, Reese. If you want to win in overtime, running the football is a good idea. Showing that you're the more physical team in overtime can really be a breaking of their will. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Hey, that's a live ball. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And, man, I love my quarterbacks that want to make plays and make those big plays and scramble around and get away from people, but you got to tuck that football away when you're going to run through arm tackles and people are around you dive and make sure you got that thing locked up. He did, and defense took advantage of it. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Stewart. And they pick up just a few on that completion. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Running back searching for a hole. They make the stop, but you can't give up four yards a chunk on the ground down in this area of the field. It's at the 18. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. It'll be a run on third and short. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. Stop the run first. And here we go. A field goal try to win it. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. So here comes the field goal team, and they'll kick for the win. Right down the middle. The kick is good. A game winner in overtime.